little while um a couple of three years maybe um and i think it's starting to even i don't know whether you can eat re-ink archival if anyone knows can you let me know um if you can and where i can get the the inking from because uh, i really like using the archival um so oh no that's fine that's good um so it's either that or buy a new one i think they're about six pound aren't they which isn't too bad i suppose but um, if i can eat re-ink i think i'd rather do that and save not just money but save plastics this is just all plastic isn't it so right now then i'm going to line this up over here so it's just a bit easier for me to see right line it up on the seven so i know that the paper's straight <sighs> i breathe on that just to re um i don't know read whatever the ink and i'm just going to very carefully line everything up and press down this is my favorite happy birthday i use this for so much and have used it for so much over the years <laughs> Um, it was a really good investment and I think it was only maybe 50p or something like that car boot um, but yeah I really like this one I'm sure I picked up another one I think I found another one I'm sure I did I have to get the two out and double check there we go that's a nice sharp See, that's the thing with the, this stamp and the archival ink. I've always managed to get a really sharp uh, image on there. But like I say, I think my archival is, you know, coming either coming to the end or needs re-inking. Right, let's pop that back in that drawer with that shake. So... I'm going to put some double sided tape. I prefer to use double sided on the inside because if it does leak, if a wet ink does leak, then you are in all sorts of problems, aren't you? So let's bring that up. Use my scissors. These are just some cheap pound land scissors. Because um, if they get all sticky and gunged, I'm not going to be too worried about it whereas if i use my best scissors on them uh, and they get gunged up i won't be happy so tiny little bit there so and then just take that off and pop it in some, oh, this is the time when it's just not going to play ball isn't it there we go got it gotcha so happy birthday and slide that in line it all up try and get an even border let it fall and then place that down and there then is my finished card i love it i hope my daughter loves it i hope you like it um if you do please leave a comment below i'd appreciate that um, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.